Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have another grocery haul for you today. It's been a little while since I did one and I thought I would just, since it's just arrived, I thought I would show you what I got for the food shop for the week. Um, if you've been watching my videos lately, you will know that I'm a little bit obsessed with my slow cooker at the moment. So most of the recipes that I'll be making this week are uh, slow cooker recipes. So as I'm going through, or maybe at the end, I'll tell you what I'm planning to make for the week for our dinners. So starting with cupboard bits, we have two boxes of like Waitrose version of Shreddies, the malted wheats. Then we have Cheerios, which are Marnie's favorite, and Weetabix, which she really likes as well. Crisps for lunch boxes and snacks, they all like something different. So I got mini cheddars for Aiden. Salt and vinegar square crisps for Dylan. Clearly he has the best taste in crisps. And for Merrin, she likes the barbecue beef hula hoops. Then also for lunch boxes, I got wagon wheels. And this chip nail is gonna drive me mental all the way through this video, so I do apologize. They're, in fact, they're all chipped. So we have wagon wheels. These are for Dan, he requested these. And we have some party rings. Then some Vimto Remix squash, which I didn't actually need this week. We've already got loads left from last week, but good to have stock in the cupboard anyway. Um, some tortilla wraps, which are for one of the meals that I'll be making. Actually, two of the meals that I'll be making later in the week. Three cartons of Oatly Barista Milk. These are Marnie's favourites. They are the Organics Carrot Cake Bars. These were Dylan's favourite as when he was Marnie's age and he loved them for years. In fact, he was still eating them when he was about five or six. So all my kids have loved these. Uh, seasoning mix for fajitas, which is for a recipe I'm making later in the week, which isn't fajitas, weirdly. Cream cheese for baking. Merrin and I are really into baking our pumpkin bits and pieces at the moment, so we need a cream cheese for one of those recipes. Marnie's yogurts, these are her favourites. I mention them every time I do a food shop, but they are um, the, what's the name of the company? The Collective Suckies. Then we have some strong extra mature cheddar, that one was on offer, and some grated parmesan type cheese. This katsu sauce is amazing. I bought two packets of it because one just wasn't enough. It tastes better than the Wagamama one, in my opinion. I have made my own at home, which is really good as well, but just for days where I can't be bothered to make my own. This is a really good thing to have in the fridge. Two bottles of semi-skim milk, some strawberries, some mango, Sour cream. These yogurts were on offer, so I got two packs of those. They're the Munch Bench Strawberry and Vanilla. A pack of hummus. Two packets of corn on the cob. Some broccoli. Some sweet Romano peppers. These were on offer as well. Some salted butter. Then we have some chorizo, which is already chopped, because it was way cheaper than the one you have to chop yourself. And it's already chopped. It's probably getting less. That is my daft logic, but yeah, I hate chopping chorizo. It's just a pain in the bum, so diced chorizo, some wafer thin ham, and some shredded ham, which Marnie loves. If I put out this whole packet, she'd probably devour the whole thing. So I like to give her that just with some other picky bits at lunchtime sometimes. Then I went a bit overboard on the chicken this week. I'm not sure why I got so much, but I'm making lots of slow cooker recipes. So that's why really, but I could have branched out a little bit, I think, and tried something else. But anyway, I have two packets of chicken chunks which were on offer, some chipolatas just for an easy tea for the kids, some chicken breast mini fillets which are to go with the katsu sauce, breaded chicken goujons are another easy tea for the kids. I've lost track of what I showed you now so I'll start over this side. I got some basmati rice, some risotto rice that's actually to make a rice pudding in the slow cooker because apparently that's the best kind of rice to use so I'm told, never tried it. Some fusilli pasta, and there's some orzo at the back there, which is a firm favourite of ours at the moment. Then frozen bits, sorry I'm jumping around from like category to category, but I'm just doing it in the order it is on the side. So I've got some of these edamame in the pods, which we all love, and they're perfect with the katsu curry. Some edamame out of the pods, because the kids actually prefer these to regular peas, so I get those a lot and two boxes of Cornettos, which were on offer. Then back down here, I have some tomato soup for Dylan, that's his favorite. And he actually wants to start taking that to school in a flask, so we might give that a go. Some pitted green olives, 
some thick and chunky salsa, some panko breadcrumbs, which again are for the katsu. These intrigue me. I love a turmeric latte, and I realise that makes me sound like a bit of a wally, but if you haven't tried one and you like that kind of spicy, warming flavours, I would recommend it. I've never tried these ones, so I'll report back. Then I got some custard for Dylan, chocolate and just regular custard for lunch boxes. Marnie's getting fed up in the background, so I better speed it up a bit. Then I got some large free range eggs, some jelly for Marion and Aiden, because they love that. Some Nutella at the back, which is my weakness at the moment. I need to, I probably shouldn't buy it. I might have to hide that. Some tins of sweet corn. Then what's behind there? Some pineapple, Marion requested that for her lunchbox for a change, so we got that. Sour cream, what have I showed you? Oh, apples, I think that's the last thing actually. Yeah, the apples is the last thing. Is it? Yes, I think it is. Pink lady apples, and that's it. That's everything I got in our weekly shop, so I will now tell you what I'm going to make with it. So these are our meals for the week. We have slow cooker Mexican chicken, which I tried for the first time, I think last week or the week before. It was amazing and the easiest recipe ever, so we'll definitely have that this week. Then the leftovers from that we will have on Tuesday in enchiladas with rice. There will probably be only enough leftovers for Dan and I, I would imagine. So if that's the case, I will do the chipolatas for the kids with some mini roast potatoes or something like that and some veg. Then on Wednesday, another slow cooker meal, this time Spanish chicken, which is with the chorizo and the olives. We'll have that with veg, probably broccoli, maybe corn on the cob. I'll see what we feel like on the day. Then on Thursday, I'll do a bacon and broccoli orzotto. I also use some of the edamame beans in that. It's basically a risotto, but with orzo, and everybody loves that one. Then on Friday, I'll do the chicken katsu curry using that sauce and the edamame beans as well. Then Saturday, I can't decide what I want to do. We might have a takeaway possibly since it is x fact tonight but failing that i will just do either a soup or a frittata with um bacon and veg and whatever's left in the fridge or i could bung a casserole in the slow cooker again i'll see how i feel on the day then on sunday i'm going to make a chicken leek and bacon pie with some mashed potato and veg probably broccoli and a little note to myself to remember to buy pastry for the pie just because making the pastry is an extra step that can't be bothered to do. For anyone that's wondering, this is a um, meal planner that I use on my iPad. Um, I find doing it digitally just works for me. I can print this out if I want to, stick it on the fridge, or I can just literally keep it inside my phone or my iPad. It just helps to have it all written down somewhere, so that's the way I like to do it. And those are our meals for the week. So that's everything I picked up for our family food shop for the week and what I'm planning to make with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. I'm planning to do a few more family meal foodie kind of videos. So if you'd like to see that kind of thing from me, then let me know in the comments below because I love having your feedback. It just helps me to plan my content for the next month. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.